Ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the video. Let's just discuss Crytek and the Xbox One. So, of course, we've discussed the ESRAM quite heavily, but I figured this would be quite an interesting little comment from Crytek in regards to the development of Rise Son of Rome. So, of course, Rise Son of Rome is a rather pretty looking title. And there were some questions regarding how they actually got this game looking so amazing. Because definitely, I think it's fair to say that Rise is one of the better looking games so far of this current next generation. And anyway, they gave a few comments on this. They said, the CryEngine has a unique and novel solution for this and has shipped with Rise. One of the problems using deferred shading is it's very heavy on bandwidth slash memory traffic. This gets exponentially worse as overlapping lights cause considerable amounts of redundant read and write operations. In Rise, our graphic engineers created a system called Piled Shading to take advantage of the Xbox One. This splits the screen into tiles and generates a list of all the lights effective each tile using a compute shader. It then culls lights by min slash max extents or the tile. We then loop over the, li the light list for each tile and apply shading. In practice, this is made for bigger bandwidth save than we could have possibly hoped for as it just reading the G-buffer once and writing shading results once at the end of each pixel. Only a single compute shader was used for Rise for light culling and executing the entire lighting and shading pipeline with small exceptions like complex surfaces like skin and hair. And that was pretty much all they said but regardless a very interesting quote I thought and there is a lot of confusion, I think, from people regarding what the various rendering modes are, because obviously you might have heard of things such, such as deferred shading previously. Uh, you've probably heard of, um, let's say, tile-based rendering, forward rendering, forward plus, and so on and so on. And I think at some point I'm going to have to cover all of these, and it's well out of the scope of this video. I'm probably going to do it as maybe explanation or something. I might even have to get James or something involved in the channel so we could kind of do like a co-op video since it's been... I actually don't think we've done a co-op properly so I think that would be kind of cool as well and I'd like to start getting into some actual physical kind of uh, getting into the game engine type of things. I think that would be kind of cool to do. So, I'm going to leave it here. What I would recommend, if you're not too familiar, you can just Google what they are for now, but I'll be putting together something over the next few days. I'll be speaking to James, also known as the kid on the channel. You might also know, know him from programming lessons, He's doing some C-sharp at the moment. Yes, I am beating him in the background to get him to get on with the lessons. Unfortunately, he's just been pretty busy. No the fiddling. But anyway, um, we'll be back on top of that soon. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. I'll see you soon. Take care and bye for now.